Fergus told me of his project, I got very excited because uh, it's not the kind of work that I'm used to do. Uh, I'm much more an um, illustration guy, you know, with a realistic landscape or even abstract landscape, but always uh, with pairs, uh, people on it or even a uh, realistic uh, part, the realistic part in the, the painting or the drawing. So this time we decided to, to do something quite abstract uh, on painting, mainly uh, no, no digital tool on it, and uh, it was fine with me. I, I love, uh, I love to, to do it. Uh, so we decided to, to work on many canvases uh, on an industrial way, so with real materials, so you know, steel, copper, uh, iron, rusted iron. Uh, coffee, anyway. Uh, also, earth, uh, oils. Uh, we wanted to recreate some kind of uh, feeling, you know. Uh, once you get uh, near a um, factory, and uh, an old and craft, craft factory, and uh, so the soil is completely uh, flooded by oil, water, uh, petrochemics. Uh, this kind of uh, of uh, of fluids. And uh, even if you dig, uh, you can find uh, copper cables, uh, rusted plate, uh, any, anything in fact uh, like this. And uh, we wanted to recreate this kind of feeling, you know. Uh, when you look at it, it's quite. Uh, uh, it, it it adds a kind of beauty in itself, but it's quite disgusting in the same way. In the painting, we wanted to express uh, the link between uh, uh, the man and uh, the factories or the industrial uh, way of life. Uh, you can find it in the canvases with the bone or even the parts that look like, looks like flesh, you know, even salt, the blend of, uh, of both. Uh, we found it important to express uh, because uh, that's a reality. Uh, we are all uh, industrial children. With, uh, just have to look around you. Uh, there is a lot of um, industry everywhere, and, uh, and even if we are um, only a flesh and blood creatures, uh, we 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 approach a way of life near the industrial way. So we live in a digital world right now. Uh, we found ourselves at home with factory. Uh, there are more and more robots around us, uh, so we wanted to express this and even the beauty of the symbiosis, if you can express it like it, uh, between the man and the machine. Uh, you, you find this kind of reference on the canvases uh, with the bone uh, linked together with uh, copper, uh, with uh, this kind of scars, you know, put on uh, metallic canvases. Uh, it was a kind of uh, a reminiscence or maybe a poetic way to express it that uh, we are maybe today even more each day uh, near, near the machine and even we can't live without the machine. Canvases, it was kind of a um, chaotic approach. I, I love chaos and uh, uh, the creation by chaos, you know. Uh, mainly, mainly when I start working, I'm not sure of what I will do and what I will get. Uh, well, sometimes uh, I'm sure of what I will get, but uh, I love to, to leave a small part of uh, improvisation, you know, and accident. 
Uh, and so it was in the same uh, way for this painting. I start by uh, simple layers of colors just to get the mood. Uh, and I put all the material because I love uh, structure, texture. So I work with the iron, with the coffee, and work with powder, uh, plastic, resin, anyway, that I can find and I found useful for what I want to do. Uh, and just uh, I'm, I made my landscape, my own landscape, on the canvases and uh, afterwards uh, I put the color, the final colors. But uh, sometimes I work only with white canvases, even if I have a lot of different material in it. And after I put the color, and it was not different for this one, I took some liberty of uh, with the traditional painting, if you can call it uh, like it. Uh, for example, uh, uh, for the front cover, I put it on the water during two weeks to let the painting get diluted and see how it reacts with all the materials. And after I dry it and, uh, and I continue to paint, uh, I always uh, work like this with uh, one layer on top in each on each other one and uh, to see what the rated. Uh, In any case, uh, one of the challenges with this painting was not uh, the color or even the texture or even the painting in, in themselves, uh, but to recreate the mood, something quite strange, uh, uh, a mood uh, quite alien, you know, uh, something between Earth and beyond Earth, and between human and uh, machines. Uh, it, was, it was quite challenging because. Uh, uh, I'm more used to uh, something much more uh, spiritual, if you can call it like it, uh, with uh, with shade. People also express something much more akin to, uh, to psychology, and here uh, it was a raw feeling that we need to express something much more. Uh, I can call it primal, you know, raw in any way, uh, and it was um, very very uh, interesting to develop. Uh, I work mainly uh, when I listen to music. Uh, I just uh, immerse myself in the music, uh, or even in my ID, and uh, and work like this uh, without references. Just uh, I express what I feel. And here um, we wanted, or mainly me, I wanted to uh, to go away from uh, the reference that I much more used to to do. And uh, so to do something, uh, I will say, much more like uh, Faban wanted. Uh, and it was uh, quite interesting to see how it works between, uh, between us. So he, he, he gets the ID, so he comes with me with the ID and uh, let me express it in my own way. So it was quite, quite interesting to, to do. And uh, the mood of the painting are, are really uh, interesting in this way because um, uh, they are not familiar you know when you look at the painting uh, you will not see uh, references you see something else but you are not seeing the references quite uh, quite uh, striking you know oh, okay I know this uh, it looks like so. oh, okay he wanted to express this no uh, it's much more introspective you have to dig uh, yourself in the music and in the painting to see how, how it works, you know, how it's blend and what you get through uh, the canvas here. So um, I hope that people will, uh, will spend some time to look at it uh, with the music and not trying to, to see what uh, we wanted to do, but much more just to, to feel something, you know. And just, uh, okay, well, I get this feeling uh, looking at the pictures and it's mine, uh, mine alone, and uh, if the people do that and feel something, uh, we will have rich or gold.